Hi everyone, Jonelle here. I wanted to send a little video, <clears throat> a how-to video, on how to download documents and then go ahead and upload them into SACE as an attachment. So for the purpose of the video, I've had a mock document go ahead and was scanned through the new Canon um, copiers that you guys have at each of the sites. So right now this one's through the SPED Center uh, with an attachment and you'll see it right here. You should be able to send or scan documents via the address book and have them sent over to your email. All right. So that's this right here is going to be what is being sent over from the scanner. I'm going to download this. And right now I'm using Google Chrome. So you're going to see the uh, downloads in the bottom taskbar right here. So if you click on this, it'll open up as a new tab inside of your browser. All right. Um, as it loads, you'll be able to see right now we're just using something from the Senho, um, the new higher orientation that we had. So that's going to be our mock document right now. I'm going to close the tab, but I do also want to show you where else you'll be able to find your downloads. If you are <clears throat> you should be able to see the file explorer in the bottom taskbar of your actual window. If you click on that, on the left hand side you're going to see all the different um, pages that you can go into. Right now we're just going to pertain ourselves with the downloads. Once you click on the downloads you'll be able to see everything that you've downloaded thus far. Um, this is the same document I've downloaded it a couple different times so you're going to see the you know original the copy one, the copy two. So what we're going to do is you can click on it, double click, and you'll be able to see the PDF in its own window through um, this program that we're using is the Adobe Acrobat. You can also rename, which is probably going to be the biggest thing for you right now is to, to rename it. If you click on the file and you right click, you'll be able to go down to rename and following the guidelines that we're going to be using in order to upload, you'll be able to find out, um, we're going to be using the year, so 2018, period, the month, which is October, so 10, period, and today is the 29th, and then we're going to label it, because of the video, or because of what we're doing, we're going to change this to, um, sample SACE upload. But when you are uploading yours or actually renaming your file document, you're going to want to change it to specifically what it is. So it'd be 2018.10.29 occupational therapy report or psychoeducational assessment report. Okay. So you're going to hit enter and it'll find itself inside of the downloads. What you want to do here. <clears throat> As if you're not comfortable with everything being in your downloads or you, you're afraid you're going to lose it, you can take it and drag it onto your desktop and you will have it right on your desktop, easy to find so that when you go ahead to upload it onto SACE, it's easy for you to find. So I'm going to go ahead and close this page and then bring us over to SACE so that you can see how to upload this exactly. <clears throat> on the SACE page, you're going to go to whatever specific student is that you're working on. For the purpose of the video, we have a mock student by the name of Sarah Brown that we're using as a sample. Let me enlarge this for you guys to see. And here in the left hand side, you're going to see the future IEP forms, attachments, and comments. You're going to go ahead and go into the attachments tab. Open that up. You're going to see a green bar right here. You're going to click on add attachment. And we're going to scroll so that you can see this. Right here, you're going to see the instructions. And it gives a little bit of information as to what types of files are actually compatible with SACE. Um, you're mainly going to be using the PDF um, document or possibly an RTF. Okay, those two are probably going to be your main ones that you're going to be using. But remember that they do have to stay under 6 megabytes. Um, in order for you to upload them. If it's too large, it will not upload, then you're probably going to have to compress the file. So if you scroll down, you're going to see attachments for Sarah Brown. Again, we're going to follow the guidelines for naming. We're going to use the year first, 2018. Dot, the month, 
10 that the day 29 and the specific item that you're going to be uploading again for the purposes of the video we're going to have a sample document so we're going to call it sample sace upload if you are going to be uploading a specific report or a notice of meeting let's just say for now we're going to do notice of meeting we can put 20 uh, the day the month the date or sorry the year the month the day and then signed notice of meeting. All right, and if I could spell that correctly, but because the document that we're going to be uploading is just a sample, we're gonna change this back again over to sample SACE upload. You're going to click on the green select file button and then you can go straight over to desktop and you're gonna find all the documents that you have on your desktop. So right now we have our sample SACE upload right here. We're gonna click on that, click open, and then you're going to hit and click upload. So then it brings you over to this page which shows us uh, if there are previous attachments that are already on here, you'll see them listed. Right now, we only have one attachment on Sarah Brown's file, so which is the one that I just uploaded. So you're going to see who added it, when they added it, and the exact title for whatever it is that you have just uploaded. You can change that by using a little pencil, but if anyone else accesses the page, they can go ahead and download each item individually, or you have the ability to go ahead and delete the item as well. All right, thank you so much. I will go ahead and see if there's any other videos that I need to make and I'll upload those as well. Thank you.